Hello, my name is Hendrik Schultz. I'm the Chief Medical Officer of Medical Associates. Today I want to talk a bit about Omicron, the new variant that you heard about in the media uh, that was detected in South Africa. What we know so far is that this variant emerged at the middle of November in Botswana and then was actually worked up and declared as a variant of concern by the WHO late November. Um, we also know that it is suspected that this variant emerged probably in immunocompromised hosts in South Africa where the virus could multiply and not clear and then develop this mutation that le led to this variant, although this is more a theory right now. There are a lot of things that are still not entirely known about this variant. Um, we do not know whether the many mutations that this variant showed on the spike protein, which is the binding protein, will play out in real life. We also do not know enough yet whether this variant will have a more severe course than the other variants we have seen in the past. There are initial observations in South Africa that this variant might be more transmissible, um, but you have to take it with a grain of salt because the vaccination rate in South Africa is about 25%, whereas here in the United States it's between 60 and 70%, depending on which region you're looking at. So there are a couple of things that we still have to analyze further. Um, we have some initial observations from South Africa about how this virus affects patients, but these are very preliminary and please do not generalize them. It looks like the course might be mild and comparable to what we've seen with, with Delta, um, but a lot of these things have to be studied more to get a better sense of it. What is currently underway is the testing of how the current treatments, particularly the monoclonal antibodies and the vaccines work against this variant. And this requires some testing where the virus gets produced in the lab uh, in cells and um, monoclonal antibodies are used against this virus to see if they bind and neutralize it. The same is tested with uh, sera, with um, um, plasma from people who have been vaccinated with all available vaccines and we have to see if these antibodies uh, that emerge after vaccination can neutralize the virus and to what extent. What I think is very important to understand when it comes to the vaccination is that this is still our best strategy because although the virus, the Omicron variant, has a lot of changes in its spike protein, the vaccines actually cover way more of the virus than just these regions. So if you are vaccinated, regardless of whether it's j, &J Pfizer or Moderna, you still have a significant level of protection and that gives you better chances should you encounter Omicron. And so the recommendations uh, from the Professional Society, from the Infectious Disease Society of America, from the CDC and the WHO have not changed. The key strategy to address this variant is still to get vaccinated because it gives you the best chances. And until we know more about how this virus might coin out in real life in the United States, and we know it's already here and we suspect it's already in Iowa, it's just not been picked up, until we know that, we should still be good in using the mitigation measures that have worked in the past, which is wear masks when you are in closed spaces, particularly in the winter time. Try to avoid large gatherings. Um, practice good hand hygiene. Practice social distancing when you can. And most of all, again, get your vaccine because the vaccine also prevents the virus from setting a foot in the door. The more people are vaccinated, the less the virus find a ground where it can successfully replicate and change again. So we get through this. We made a lot of progress over the last year, and we will also get through this new variant and will move further towards a normal life again. With that, Merry Christmas.